Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm Steve Rosted. Uh, I'm a kernel developer. I work for VMware. I'm an open source evangelist for VMware for both internal and external. So I basically come out and tell everyone how uh, VMware is very serious about the open source community and actually making an impact. I also look inward to make sure that they are very serious about open source community and making an impact. So I have a dual job. Um, I guess I'm here at Kernel Recipes now. I was previously at Kernel uh, Embedded Recipes. I gave a talk there and I gave a talk here. Uh, Embedded Recipes, I gave a talk about um, how to find latencies using ftrace and other tools. Uh, yesterday I gave a talk about Kernel Shark and it's being rewritten because VMware has supplied me with a full-time employee to work on Kernel Shark and he has rewritten it completely from scratch uh, with my guidance and it's no longer just going to be a product but actually going to be a platform so everyone else could use it. Uh, I've been told to talk about my backs bothering me while I'm here since I've been sitting in chairs all day long because the way the kernel recipes and embedded recipes are is just a marathon of talks. It's single track, captured audience, no one gets to go away. It's, you know, you got to wait for breaks, for bathroom breaks. Um, so you get to watch all these different uh, talks, whether you were interested in them or not. And sometimes that's actually a good thing because a lot of times you'll look at a talk and say, I'm not interested. But then when you watch it, you're like, wow, this actually really is interested. Interesting, but the problem with me is the fact that I came here with jet lag and I had very little sleep. And I was just joking earlier that said, you know, when you have no sleep, you don't get over jet lag. You have a constant state of jet lag. And last night I was networking with the folks here. Uh, I believe Gandhi had a, a reception for us, and they and the people there were uh, great to talk to. Uh, they were very interested. I got a lot of information about them and I was there till 1.30 in the morning, didn't get back to my hotel till 2 a.m. Uh, so I didn't get much sleep last night either. And sometimes not only did I watch the uh, talks, I slept through them, <laughs> even though um, that's where I am. So questions? Like we are here at the kernel his kernel site today. Uh, in the next few months we have like LC plumbers what still excites you about like being at those events, like how, even after many years in the community? What excites me about being at those events at the community? Well, the funny part is, I think the thing I, I one reason why I strive to do, um, the reason why I strive to go to all these events, and even when my wife's like, you're going again, uh, it's because at home, there's a lot of times I, I work remotely, I don't go to an office. Uh, the people that's around me, all my friends, everything, they're not computer programmers. I'm the only one that really has like a, a passion for this. So events to me is where I could kind of come and meet people that, you know, birds of a feather, talk to people that have the same passions I have for the kernel, uh, the um, for programming, for Linux, development, uh, the technology. Uh, at home, I have different passions. Um, I'm a martial artist. I do karate. And, I, and at home, I hang out with people that have those passions. Uh, that's where I have it. I enjoy it. So I enjoy being home, but I also enjoy coming here to have a different mindset and to be able to meet people. So I like traveling a lot. I sometimes travel too much. In fact, there's been times where on the way to the airport, I have to ask my wife which country I'm going to because I forgot. Um, and that's kind of embarrassing. So uh, sometimes uh, a friend of mine is asking me, like, do you take it for granted that you go all these places? Because they were like, wow, it'd be great to go all the places. And I'm, I said, no, I never take it for granted that I'm coming here. I always think that this is maybe the last time I am in Paris. This is the last time I'll be in Tokyo. I always say that this is the, maybe the last time I get to come here. This may be the last trip I have. You never know the future. So I do appreciate it. I do enjoy it. I try to mingle with the community, try to enjoy the culture. I don't get a chance to do any tourist things. I was in Tokyo three times. I think the total amount of times was one week if you took all my travel to Tokyo. So I really didn't get a chance to really explore the outside, but I do try to uh, network and talk to the locals, talk to the people there. So that's my answer.